one of the things that's great about Maya is its customizability. And uh, nothing's better for that than the shelves in Maya. Um, if you're not familiar, which you should be, Maya comes with a set of preset shelves, but you can make your own. And I constantly make my own shelves. Sometimes I make jobs, uh, shelves just for specific jobs. Um, so it's very, very handy to put all the tools you want. Um, this shelf that you're looking at is just a rigging shelf that I have. I have a development shelf. I have a, um, oops, I don't want to see the uh, I have a sculpting shelf, which is just a sculpting shelf with an addition. Um, I have a, another connection rig. I have a pose shelf that I use. And what I want to talk about is using marking menus to quickly change between those shelves. Um, I don't like going over here and digging through all this stuff. I also don't like showing the shelf tabs. I feel like it's just a waste of space. Um, I do have a custom shelf over here, which I did have to script. Uh, but you don't, you don't really even need it. Um, once I started using... Um, the marking menus to get the between the shelves. I was like, this isn't all as useful, uh, but I still use it. Um, but you can customize your regular shelves without any scripting whatsoever. Um, so what I want to talk about is, um, well, you all know how to make your own shelf, right? So uh, create, uh, where is it? Du -du 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 new shelf, call it whatever you want. Blah. And it'll just create a blank new shelf. Everybody should know that already. But I want to talk about the marking menus. So uh, by default, the hotbox is the when you hold down the space bar, you have north, south, east, and west, east and west. Um, and by default, you have a bunch of tools or uh, marking menus in there that I don't really use all that often. So the thing to think about is you have left, middle, and right mouse buttons already for north, south, east, and west, and that gives you a whole lot of options for different marking menus. So you already have you know, three times four, so you already have 12 different menus in here that you can already use. And by default, you're not using them all that often. So like, I tend to leave the default ones uh, with the middle mouse button. So like, the one on the right is for changing your um, UIs that you can see. The one on the left is for changing the selection mask, which I never ever use. It's been in there since my zero. I don't use it. I have no idea what it does. I've Googled it. Nobody seems to care or use it. It's just a, a waste. Uh, the upper one I've already changed. Um, the lower one, you know, also more UI stuff. So hide and show, or it's to quickly change your entire scene. So I can take it to a hypergraph. Uh, I can go back to my um, perspective view. Um, I did put some things up here, but what I talk about is the the shelf stuff. Sorry, gone off on a tangent. So what you want to do to change that and first to create it is to go to Windows Settings Preferences. Marking Menu Editor, and that pulls up this ancient uh, UI, but it still works really great. Um, it's just a little bit clunky, so just a couple of things you gotta watch out for, but once you use it once, you'll figure it out. Uh, so what I wanna do is create a new marking menu, and I'm gonna call it YouTube, and save it. And you just wanna hit save, it sticks around. It doesn't, it can sometimes be a little bit confused by that, so I'm, I'm usually only hitting save once and then close because you notice when I did that, it now says I don't have uh, a unique name for my menu, which is a little bit confusing. So just close it and reopen it and you'll be okay. So the first thing I want to add is uh, that, that next shelf and previous shelf. And where I got that from, well, originally I scripted it, but now I just steal it from Maya is I can go up here and say navigate shelves and I have this little option box here. Unfortunately, you can't use the um, shift control to throw it into a shelf because one of the things you can do is just quickly drag and drop to your marking menu if you want from the shelf. Uh, but this doesn't actually throw itself up there so you do have to use the code. Uh, but now that I've used it twice, I can go down to my script editor and I've already done this a couple times today. Um, let's kill this and turn off echo all commands. You don't need that on. That's from pre before. All right, let me do it again. So I'll do previous shelf, next shelf. And that gives me these two commands, or actually the same command with different flags. So incremental shelf, increment selected shelf, negative one, increment selected shelf, one. So what you can actually do is do any numbers you want, but for forward and back, that makes the most sense. So now that I've got them in my script editor here, or I can just pull it straight from here. I'm going to double click that middle mouse button, drag it, and double click that middle mouse button, drag it. And even if by default I have no labels, so just right click on it, edit menu item, say previous shelf, save, and I'll edit the other one and say next 
shelf, save it, and save, and close. And so I'll reopen it. And if you notice, when I use my left mouse button here to test it, I can test out to see if that marking menu is working, which is very handy, right? Save that, close that. Now, a long time ago, I'm, I wrote my own tool to, uh, to set for specific shelves. But what we can do is I found that the newer Mayas have an option that goes right to a specific shelf. So what I'm going to do is I have a pose shelf, and I know it's named P-O-S-E. So I'm going to put that in there and hit OK. And it's going to jump straight to that shelf, which is great. And now I'm going to look at my um, script editor. And here's I have this thing here that says jump to named shelf. And it just for right now, it's just blank. Uh, that's because it's stealing it from the UI. So what I'm going to do is just put the name in there, pose. And let's try that and see if it works for sure. So let's go to rigging, double click, pose, great. So I'm gonna grab that, whoops, double click, copy. Well, I can copy it or I can uh, drag it, doesn't really matter. And I'll go up here and say, edit menu item, paste. Cool, save and close, save, close, apply, apply, apply. And right now that, that marking menu exists, but I don't have any way to access it. So that's the next step. I shouldn't have closed this. So I'll go back to my YouTube marking menu, take a look at it. I'm going to test it just to make sure it's working. Pose, next, 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 left, left, left. Po oh, I'm already on the pose. Cool. It is working. So I'll close it. And now what I do is I'm going to set it so it's in my west region for my middle mouse button. So I'm going to replace what's already there. And what's already there is that selection mask, which, like I said, I never ever use. Uh, Hotbox West. Middle mouse button, sure. I actually can, if I wanted to, I could actually double click on this and change that. But what I tend to do is leave the defaults alone just for if I ever need to go back for them, I don't want to lose them. It's easier just to make your own custom ones and, and change the triggers for the marking menu. So I'm going to leave that one alone. So I'm going to go to my own. And I'm going to set it to hotbox, west, middle, and I'm going to apply it. And you notice that the name has now jumped down here to let you know exactly what's going on. And I've, just by hitting apply, I've saved it, even though the window stays open. So now if I go with my hotbox over to the west region, middle mouse button, I now have that shelf changer that I was looking for, which is the YouTube marking menu. Not the greatest name, so make sure you name these things something that makes sense. For instance, I have quick shelves, quick side shelves, uh, my name, span, uh, left, north, right, uh, my panel layout one, which I don't use all that often, uh, but they do exist. And now that I've done that, it's going to be in Maya all the time. Just to be sure, I'm going to do a save preferences. But now the next time I open Maya or when I'm using Maya, I have that over there. And as you can tell from my previous marking menu that I've created that I use, uh, you can put any number of um, items in there. So you have, you know, the the radial positions, you know, north, south, east, and west, uh, northeast, northwest, southwest southeast, but you can also keep adding those too, and we'll just keep adding adding more and more items as you go. So if I go back to that uh, marking menu editor, I'll show you what that looks like. Quick shelves, cool. So here's my radial, and then here's all the ones I've added. And as you add them, it just drops them down. Um, incidentally, I also put one in there for uh, toggling the shelf tabs, which is easy, which is uh, helpful. Um, in case you ever do want to make it bigger, and that's just toggle shelf tabs, very easy command. Um, if I wanted to throw that into my sh YouTube shelf without too much trouble, I can double click on that YouTube shelf and I can just take this and drag it over to any position that I want. So if I don't want it in the radial positions, I can put it in the, in the drop down position and you notice it's now down here and I can test it to make sure it works and I can save it. Uh, you notice that I have for some reason an option box on there. That's not going to do anything. So I'm going to take that and turn that off. And now I don't have an option box and it still works. Save, save, save. Cool. And save it, close it, apply, and close. And I'm good to go. So now I have that marking menu over here to do whatever I want. Um, so I encourage you to just kind of come up with your own ideas of what you want your marking menu to be. Take a look at the ones that are in there. And remember that you have 12 different options because you have three mouse buttons and four uh, regions to work with. Uh, even the center, actually, you even have your center. You can change that one, too. Um, so you can really maximize your marking menus to work better for what you're doing. 
and that way you don't have to use up so much screen space having uh, larger shelves or shelf tabs or extra shelves. Um, you notice I never show like the toolbox. I think that's just a waste of space. Um, so you can maximize your space and still be able to uh, change and, and get to your shelves that you use most frequently. And you can make as many shelves as you want. You can just make hundreds of them and just keep tabbing through them. And like I said, I often make them for jobs. So if I'm working on a specific project, I'll put uh, job-related ones into that project, and I can quickly access that as I go. All right, so I hope that wasn't too long and boring, and I hope that helps. Oh, and one last little bonus tip. You can actually add uh, secondary marking menus to your marking menus. So like I said, you have your radial positions here. Uh, you can even have a submenu to that and have another set of radial positions. And that can go on and on and on as far as you want. And the way you want to create those is you go to that same marking menu editor. I'll open up my YouTube shelf there, or marking menu. Jeez, I'm going to keep saying that. And if I right click, I can say pop up sub menu. And it's going to give you a little sub menu that looks exactly like your other one. It doesn't have the save button, which is a little bit weird, um, but it still exists. So I'm going to just drag this over here to copy it. I'm going to edit it and let's change it to, say, um, rigging and save that. And just so I have things in there, I'm going to populate it with some other stuff. Um, nothing in particular that's helpful. I just wanted to do something in there. I'll hit save. It's weird because this window just kind of floats. It doesn't have a save. That's OK. Save it. But now, if I use that left mouse button just to test here, you say that, that sub menu, I can go to my sub menu, and then I can actually go in and uh, still use my, um, I have another radial here if I want to expand on having these radial menus. Um, incidentally, I didn't name it, so I'm going to go back up there. And again, you want to do pop-up submenu. Then once you're in the submenu, you want to go in there and change it. Um, rig shelf. And I'm only going to do this when I run out of you know spaces. I'm not going to do it like this. Uh, let's just make sure it stayed. Yep, it stayed. Um, and just to give you an example, so I have a menu over here. It's mostly for naming and some quick access tools of stuff I use all the time. Um, like I have the set trip and key and I have comment rename here. Um, but then I also have a sub menu that has a couple extra tools um, that I use all the time that are for creating uh, and accessing curves and things like that. Um, once you start building this stuff, you sort of build up muscle memory and you can kind of go wild with all this sort of stuff. So you may have noticed if you hold down left mouse button and W, you get the tools for your um, move tool. So that access there is just a sub menu, and now you have another radial menu, and then you have custom, and then you have another radial menu. And if you can go back to the little dots there, you can always just kind of walk through your marking menus as needed. Um, but we've done that now with our custom one just as easily. All right, now I'm done.